Hello everyone, Stephanie from the Girls in Heels, and I'd just like to welcome you to Vlogmas. It is December 1st, as you can tell I have my Christmas tree already up, and I'm so excited because I'm going to be vlogging every day of this month for Vlogmas, and so I'll just be doing a lot of tags and following around my day and the Christmas festivities that I'll be taking part in and all that kind of things. This is my favorite time of the year, and I'm just so excited to be able to share it with all of you. I know I haven't been here in a while, and it's just been really crazy with school and exams and that kind of thing. But I'm so excited to be back, and I can't wait to get started on this great month. Um, today, I'm going to be doing the drugstore makeup tag. I really didn't want to take you through my day because today I am studying for exams and writing papers, so I didn't think that was very interesting. So I decided to go ahead and just do a little tag for you. That's probably what I'll be doing a lot at the beginning, because the beginning is exam week and just the very end of the semester, so it's not very exciting. So I'll probably be doing a lot of little tags and things like that, but as it gets closer to Christmas, I'll be taking you on shopping adventures and all the festivities that come with this time of the year. So I'm really excited, and enough rambling, and let's get started. Um, the drugstore makeup tag has been done by a lot of fashionistas over the years, and um, I've always wanted to do it because... I love dr drugstore makeup. It is so much cheaper than like the name brand and it is really good quality most of it. There are a few not as good products but for the majority most of my products besides the very few that I splurge on um, are from drugstore places. So let's get started. The first question is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? My favorite brand is Revlon. Um, I usually use them for more face kind of thing and for like eyeliner and that kind of stuff. But I just love all their stuff. Anything that you get from them is just great. So, yeah. Um, then the next one is what's your favorite face, cheek, and lip product? So I have my little bag. How ironic, it's a Sephora bag. But my favorite face product is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Foundation. I use this, I used to use it every day. But now I started using more of like a, a tinted moisturizer during the week because I was just going to class and that kind of thing. And I save this for more of like when I'm going out and stuff like that and special occasions. But this is definitely my favorite foundation face product because it lasts, I don't know if it lasts for 24 hours because I usually don't keep my makeup on that long. But it lasts a very long time and it looks really smooth and even and it just makes your skin look very naturally pretty. So it's liquid. I usually don't go for liquids because they're kind of cakey, but this one is a really good product. I'm going to show you. Put this on my on my hand. I don't know if you can really see because my camera isn't that good right now. But right here, this is before and this is after. This little spot right here. If you can see, it looks really natural. It just looks flawless. So I'll put it on the rest of my hand so you can see. Because I, I have veiny hands, so you can see that it's like covering up all the veins. Now it's this part, and that's the four. So it's just, it goes on really well, and it lasts, and it doesn't get cakey or like gross looking. So this is really natural and long lasting, and they have a lot of array of colors, so works for most people. And then my favorite cheek product is in here. Um, it's the Sonia Cusick blush. I usually get the beautifying blush, which is what this one is. I've had this one for I pretty sure a few years and it's lasted me look it's still there this one is pink three and it had an applicator brush that one right here but I don't really like the applicator brushes I like to buy really good brushes to use with all of the makeup products but this one I could use every day and I think I do use it on like daily makeup and I use more so like high-end product for when I go out because it's darker but this is a really good just pink blush and they have many different colors and it's really cheap, and you can get it in any drugstore or grocery store. So I like that. My favorite lip, lip product, I do not have over here. It's in my purse. Um, but it's also a Revlon product. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. And I love this lipstick. My whole family uses this, and that's where I got it from. This one is Blushing Mauve. And I also have Blushing Nude, which is like a more nude color, but this one's more pink. This one has lasted me, I think I bought this like a year ago and it still lasts me so long and I use it every day. But I just love the color and it looks just really good on here. It goes on smoothly. 
it just looks really good on. Just brings out the color in your face and just it lasts a long time without getting like, you know, like the little lipstick debris on your lips. It doesn't do that. It stays in place and it lasts a long time. And I love it. So that one's a hair lip product. The next question is my least favorite product. I'm pretty sure my least favorite product would have to be when I did the $20 makeup challenge, I bought all the e.l.f. products and after buying all those, I used a lot of them still because I just love how they were. The one thing I was not happy with was the e.l.f. matte lip color. This one was in nearly nude and I thought it was going to be like a nude color. So you can see it's pink. And it also, I don't see how they're expecting you to put it on your lips because it's like pointy. Like this doesn't really work. It's more like a lip liner. And the part I really hated about it was that it looked really like creasy. I don't know. It made my lips look like chapped and it like went into every little line of my lip. It didn't really smooth over my lips. I don't know if you can tell. But it's just really like chalky looking and it just didn't feel good on my lips and it got the debris on there in like five seconds after I put it on there. So that was probably of all the products. I'm re usually really like happy with products that I try even if I don't love them but that one I'm not that big of a fan of. Um, the next one is what is the best makeup bargain? And I'm pretty sure I've been talking about this before. It would have to be the e.l.f. palettes. I know it's probably annoying that I keep talking about this but these palettes are amazing for how cheap they are. They're, I think this one is three or five dollars, three to five dollars, and you get all of these makeup, all these eyeshadows. I think there is ten eyeshadows right here, and it comes from like dark brown and like a really pretty purple to like light browns, really light browns, and then a gold, like a nude color, I guess, for like. Um, under your eyes, and then like two whites. That's one's more like a cream, and one more like a white, and it's good for like highlighter. Then you have two little lip things. I haven't really used these that much, but they seem pretty good the times I've used them. And then this little blush at the very bottom. So this is only five dollars. It's a great when I lost my naked palette for a while. I got it back, but it was a really good recovery because it's really good quality. So. I used that for a while. And then the next one is, what is your favorite underdog product? I'm pretty sure not many people know about this one. Um, it's the Pixi Flawless and Poreless. I had not even heard about it until I bought this one. This is the first time I've ever used. It's a pore minimizing um, face primer for your foundation. It's Pixi. It's not really like a really popular brand. But I love this. It's just white like that and it just goes on really smoothly it's not really heavy and it just makes your skin like feel really good without being like greasy or anything like that and it makes your makeup last a lot longer than you would think for such a cheap I think this one was like six dollars maybe and it probably works just as well as like the Sephora or Urban Decay primers that I've tried so definitely be repurchasing that when it runs out so, the next one is a drugstore product that is overpriced. Now, I feel kind of bad saying it about this, but this is the L'Oreal Liner Intense. Um, it's a liquid liner. I use this, like, every day, and I love it. But I do think it is overpriced for the quality. It has this little felt tip pin. It's black, and I really like the casing. It's really pretty. That's the main reason I bought it. And it works pretty well, but it does, it is kind of hard to, like, put the line. Sometimes it kind of, like, the brush kind of makes it off, and it makes it really hard to make, like, a smooth, even line on both eyes. Um, it is really, really good. I'm not trying to, like, downplay it or anything like that because I use it every day almost. But it was probably about $12, and I'm pretty sure you can get just the same kind of quality eyeliner for about the same price if not a little bit more as Sephora and I think that would probably be a good splurge because this one's not that much better than other cheaper liquid eyeliners at drugstores. I really love this one. I don't want to downplay it but I think it's a little overpriced for the quality. So that 
one's that. I'm sorry about my throat. I've been having some allergy and cold problems, so I'm kind of scratchy. But um, The next one is show your drugstore dupes. Now, I'm not really sure what this question is talking about. I'm pretty sure it's like ones that, like things that you thought would look good, but they didn't. Um, I haven't really had that many run-ins. I'm pretty sure the only one that I'm really angry about is the e.l.f. It fell in the trash can. <laughs> the e.l.f. Uh, lipstick because I really wanted the 20 hour makeup challenge to look really good and it was looking really good until I put this one on. And it might have not seemed that way in the video, but I kept wearing it over the day and it just looked horrible. So I just had to take it off. I kind of looked like a zombie. My lips were all dry and cakey looking, but I think that's pretty much the only one that's really disappointed me enough to be called a dupe. Um, and then the last question is the drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard about CoverGirl. I used to use this brand like religiously, like every day, CoverGirl, everything. But I'm pretty sure the only thing that I really, really love and that would keep buying over and over again is the Lash Blast, Lash, Lash Blast Mascara. The other products are kind of, I don't know, they're good, but as I've brought in my makeup horizons, I've found that they're not all they're cracked up to be. This one is the one I have right now. It's the blush. It is pretty, it's pretty, but I found ones that are cheaper and not as, like, popular that look a lot better, like the Sonia Kushat, um blush. So, the one that I really think isn't worth the hype is the Clean, CoverGirl Clean um, foundation. I used to be in love with this foundation until I found out about this one. And um, I found that it can be a, l a little cakey and it can make you look a little orange. Like the colors aren't as like matching to skin tones as other drugstore foundations. So I feel like the hype and popularity that's with the CoverGirl isn't that great. I'm not saying they're not good products and they're really, they're really good if you're like on a really big bud budget and you want to stay in one brand. I know some people are like that. But... It's not all it's cracked up to be. So, that is the end of this tag. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe and keep up with Vlogmas. This is day one. And I'm so excited to be sharing this whole great holiday month with you guys. And can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.